What's up, Capricorn? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. Happy Tuesday. I am here to do your collective reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Um, keep in mind that this is general and that it may not resonate with all of you Capricorns out there. All right? So let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with you, Capricorn. If it does resonate, share your girl some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And our follow. I am on Facebook as Fire Intuition. I would love for you guys to follow me on Facebook. And I'm also on IG as Fire underscore Intuition. All right, Capricorn. So let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with you guys um, in love, okay? So let's see. Spirit, please guide me to this reading for the sign of Capricorn, Summer Rising, also Venus. What do they need to know in here when it comes to their love life? Let me see. All right, let me see. All right. I think a lot of cards came out. All right, let's see. We have chill. This isn't what you think. Computer love. Keeping the love life alive through the computer and phone. Online dating, long distance relationship. We have question on you. I'm hiding my true feelings. Keeping it low key. Okay. Um, let's see. Is that all that failure? Yeah. All right, let me, see. let me get one more message. Let me see. All right, let's see. We have rainbow love, same sex relationship. So for some of you guys, this is a same sex relationship or somebody is bisexual. Okay. Um, this one won't, won't resonate with everybody. Okay, so I am going to pull an additional card, all right? Capricorn, I'm still going to clarify it. I'm just going to put it to the side because I know everybody's not in the same sex relationship. All right, so let's see messages for um, Capricorn, someone rising also Venus. We have flexing on the X, all right? So let's see. At the bottom, we have energy vampire. Let's cut the deck and see what the overall energy is. could be talking to somebody online you're gonna find out we have if you are wondering if i hate you i do i hate you salty jealous big mad wants no dealing we have gaslighting and living my best life so i feel like somebody really is like playing games but we're about to see capricorn all right let's see Computer love. Computer love. Computer love song. I mean, I said song card. All right, let's see Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. All right, chill. This isn't what you think. So let's see what this is about. I feel like, okay, what I'm seeing is somebody is talking to somebody online. All right. And like somebody has like some new online boo. Okay. So let's see. They do. Somebody has some new online boo, or you guys met online, or something like that. But we have chill. This isn't what you think. So let's see what this is about. Why is chill? This isn't what you think for Capricorn. Why is this here? Chill. This isn't what you think for Capricorn. Six of Swords. The High Priestess. I feel like this person does want you to chill out, Capricorn. But I feel like with the high priestess, say like, you ain't dumb, and I feel like you know that there's more to the story. The high priestess is like you feel like they're being secretive or you know moving funny. Let's see, going to the high priestess because she has her journal, she has her book, and she's sitting there like, all right, keep telling me to chill. All right, so let's see, why is the high priestess here? It could be a Pisces. Why is the high priestess here? You have three of pentacles. So the person that you're in a relationship, you suspect they're doing something. That's what I'm getting. You have the world card. It could be that they are talking to somebody online at a distance. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Temperance. So I feel like in time, you will find out. You will find out in time. But let, we're going to see where this is going. Or like maybe you guys are talking to somebody online and you're going to find out that they have a relationship. Um, Capricorn. 
Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles reverse. I don't know, Capricorn. Somebody is in an online relationship and they're catching feelings for somebody, but there's no commitment here. Mm. And they're telling you that it's not what you think, but I feel like you already know that it is something. Oh, death is upside down. I feel like you already know that it is something going on. Let's go into this computer love card. Why is the computer love card? Because I feel like if you're per like, I feel like this your person has been on their phone a lot lately or online a lot. Let's see. So a pentacles are reverse. Yep. See, not really making time for you, not getting off their phone or the internet, constantly on the phone. They're becoming very defensive. With this energy here. No, I'm uploading. Sorry, you guys. I just gotta log back in. So I can continue to upload. Did it exit out? Damn. I'm sorry, Capricorn. I was uploading. Okay, so let's see. Why is the nine of wands here? Yeah, this person may come off as very defensive towards you guys, or very defensive lately. Ace of Cups. See, somebody is catching feelings online, or talking to someone online and like starting to like them. Um, like I said, unless this is you, the magician. Eight of Pentacles. Yep, somebody I feel like is just being very slick. Um, I don't think they told this person that you're in a relationship, they're in a relationship, but let's see, uh, did Capricorn's person tell them that they were in a relationship? Let's see. Seven of Swords, no. Nope. And the Moon. See, I told you somebody's moving funny. Somebody has like some online relationship or online boo. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Mm-hmm. And I feel like um, they are trying to come off as if it's not what you think. But they are catching feelings for this person. Somebody is like always on their phone or always like texting or always online or something like that. And I feel like that's why. I definitely feel like that's why. Y'all know. I'm going to see. Y'all the only sign I did this for. But let me go on to computer love. I mean, it, that's just what I see. But I know. Let me, see, let me clarify it. Why is computer love here? What is this about for Capricorn? See, Instagram. They could have met somebody on Instagram. Instagram came out. And then we have in a relationship, plot twist, feeling you. See, we have Instagram here. Give me another message for computer love. Why is this here? Bad intentions. And then we have gaslighting. So they could be gaslighting someone. Oh, just so y'all see. Gaslighting. We have bad intentions. And then look, we have cheating. And then we have husband. Somebody could be married. Okay. We have husband, mistake, TikTok, getting married, just friends. All right. So they can just tell, you know, maybe you guys are getting married or something like that. But they're definitely cheating. And they can just be telling you like, oh, that's my friend. It's not what you think. You know, stuff like that. So just so you guys see the cards, we have cheating, gaslighting, bad intentions, Instagram. Okay? So I just wanted to break that down. All right. So somebody's doing something online. All right. It says, I'm hiding my true feelings. Question on you. And keeping things low key. Let's see. But, I don't know. I don't like this Capricorn. Because when it says flexing on the X, it says traded my old boo for an upgrade. We are a better fit. New boo, new set, new energy. So, unless they just think that you're not worth it, I don't know. I don't like that. Let me see. Crushing on you. Going to crushing on you for Capricorn. Why is crushing on you here? Why is crushing on you here? Let's see. Knight of Cups. See, yeah. Somebody is crushing on somebody. Five of Wands, see? Somebody is crushing on somebody, and I feel like you guys are, like, kind of arguing or at odds right now, but they're going towards some type of new love. This is somebody also, like, 
kind of like battling with themselves if they want to open up to this new love or not and tell them how they feel. But or that's how the other person is feeling. We have the two of swords. Somebody feels stuck and doesn't know what to do. Yep, about a third party, three of cups in reverse. Ten of swords, three reverse. They don't know if they should let this go and go be with the third party, Capricorn. And just start a new relationship and go be with the third party. Why is it ten of swords in reverse? And we have the four of pentacles, but they're going to hold back for right now. And we have it with the higher font in reverse. So this is somebody stepping outside the relationship. You know, or having an open relationship with somebody else outside of your relationship or commitment. But I also feel like what they're holding back and not saying is that they could be telling this other person that they want a relationship with them. See, Eight of Cups reverse. But I feel like they, um, the card, they don't know if they should stay with you, end it. Um, Two of Cups in reverse and the Hermit in reverse. I feel like a part of them was looking for something new. Wanted something new, but at the same time, it's like they don't know if they fully want to let go of this relationship because they feel like what if this other relationship or situation doesn't work out, you know? Let's go into a computer love with this deck. Messages for Capricorn. Clarify computer love with this deck. Computer love and crushing on you. Selfish. Things have to be my way or no way at all. Controlling. So they can be dealing with somebody that's very controlling, like look like you know leave your person for me or the person that you guys are dealing with is this selfish and they want things to go and be their way and they feel like it's okay for them to have this other relationship online and talk to you you know and be with you they they just want to have their way that's what they feel they feel like okay well i can have my little online boo and have you too you know i don't want to say it like that but that's how the messages are coming out um let's see crushing on you why is crushing on you for capricorn here for a couple more crushing on you. See, look, somebody's acting single, single and mingling. Dating, having sex, not nothing committed. Mm. See, look, and then we have happy family. Told you, like, so they're acting like they're a happy family with you. They're putting on an act. Like, they're acting as if you guys are a happy family, but this person is selfish and want things to be their way. And they have, like, some little online boo, Okay. So let's see how flexing on the X's here. Let's see flexing on the X. Why is flexing on the X here? Five of Pentacles in reverse. I told you they're telling this person that they're going to move on from you and be with them. And that they're a better fit for them and they want to be with them. Mm -hmm. Page of Pentacles. Oh, just give me some time. Um, the chariot. They been. They could have been talking to this person since cancer season, or they can be talking to a cancer. Hmm. Let me see. Why's the chariot here? Ten of cups. Mm, mm, mm. Capricorn, your person is. They acting up. They doing all kind of everything. Why is the ten of cups here? The tower. Five of Swords, but that little new boo situation ain't gonna last. Ten of Wands. And they're not gonna be able to keep up with both situations, but it ain't gonna last. King of Cups. Mm. They, it looks like they got feelings. Going to the King of Cups. Are they gonna realize something? Let's see. Why is the King of Cups here? Wheel of Fortune. Damn, I fight this situation is gonna have them thinking, Capricorn. Damn. And y'all know I have to keep it 100. I fight they're gonna stay put for now and stay with you guys or try to, you know, keep the relationship going for now. You know, um, because we got the two of wands reverse. But they've been really thinking about leaving the situation. They really do have feelings or caught feelings for this other person. The two of wands reverse with the four of cups reverse is like, should I move forward or not? Like, should I stay put or not? Like, what should I do? I feel like they're kind of like they're stuck. They don't know. And we have the devil here. Some of you guys are doing with another Capricorn. But then we have this nine of cups. This is somebody living a double life with the nine of wands. Back and forth between the both of you guys. You know, um, they're definitely getting what they want. They definitely got their cake and eating it too. Icing, ice cream, extra frosting, fucking specially made cake. Okay? They getting birthday cake and it's not even a motherfucking birthday. You know, because it's like they are interacting with somebody online and heavy. Okay, and catching feelings. But then it's like they act like they have this happy family with you. 
Okay? So, I would be very cautious, Capricorn. I feel like if you know or suspect something, go with your intuition. Now, with the rainbow card, the rainbow love, same-sex relationship, I just put it to the side because, like I said, everybody's not in the same-sex relationship. Okay? But um, let's see. Why is this rainbow love card here for same-sex relationship? Ooh. 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 Somebody has been dibbling and dabbing. Somebody has fallen in love with the opposite sex. I mean with the same sex. Somebody has, somebody is talking to somebody that is, I wonder if the person you're dealing with, I wonder, no, they can't be getting catfished. Because I feel like your person has seen them. Like they've seen them in person, I feel. Uh-oh. King of Pentacles. Somebody is dealing with the same sex. I'm sorry, Capricorn. For some of you, I don't want to scare you guys, but some of you guys, your person is dealing with the same sex. Mm, and they're open to this. Somebody is ready to be open because we have the Four of Swords reverse with the lovers. Somebody secretly has been feeling this way and that's why we have the Nine of Pentacles. That's why they're thinking about becoming single or telling this person they're going to leave them. I mean, leave you for them because they are like, this is what they really want. And they've been like this since a child or for, for however long, like six of cups is here. So it's like, this is like, they, they're tired of hiding it. They're ready to come out the closet. And I feel like somebody is pretending in a, um, a relationship where there's male and female. Damn, let's see. Has Capricorn's person ever seen this online person that they're dealing with? Has Capricorn's person ever seen this online person that they're dealing with? For some of you, no. Mm -mm. For some of you, no. And the reason why is because the person they're talking to is like so... If your boyfriend is doing this, they're talking to another man and they don't know. They don't know. Because I'm looking at all, all situations here. So for some of you guys, they know. And, they're, and they've been feeling like this for a while. And that's why they feel like this. Because they are in love or have feelings for somebody that is the same sex. Male or female. For others of you, they talk to this person on the phone all the time, text or whatever, but they haven't seen each other yet. And they haven't seen that person yet because that person is coming off as like a female, but they're not. They're a male. So they're taking their sweet, precious time to like reveal themselves. Ooh-wee. Capricorn. Clap, but I can twist. Mm-mm-mm. You won't believe this. I can't believe this. <sighs> Alright. Let's see. And there's a reason why that card came out. Remember, I was going to put it back in the deck, but I was like, no, let me put it to the side and I'm clarify it after. You know? Let me see. This is for Capricorn. Because it is for a Capricorn. Give me some additional messages for a Capricorn. Glow up. A major self-transformation. Doing the work to be better. Makeover change. Appearance. Let's see. Six of Wands. So, yes. Some of you guys have a glow up about you. Or some of you guys are going through some type of major transformation. You know, some of you guys are focusing back on you. You're doing the work. Putting in the work. And possibly going to leave this shit behind. You know? Um, let me see. Message for Capricorn. We have Savage. Ruthless. Getting what you want. Don't give a fuck. Don't hold back. Tough skin. Confident. Badass. So let's see. King of Wands and Universe. I feel like you got, whoever you guys are dealing with, for some of you, for some of you, they come off as if they're savage. 
But they're the king of wands in reverse. They're not being their true self. King of wands in reverse, sometimes it's somebody not being their true self. It could be somebody that's coming off like that, but they're not. And for those of you that are dealing with somebody that is dealing with the, the same sex, it's like they come off as if they're hard, savage, this and that. But beneath it all, they're not. They're feminine. And, in, and I'm not even trying to be funny. Because I love y'all all. Short, tall, gay, single, straight, big, fat, little feet, little fingers, big head, no head, full head, no hair, whatever. I love all y'all. I don't judge, okay? Um, but, like, they come off as, like, savage, like they're hard. You know what I'm saying? So, this right here, what this reminds me of is, like, you know how, like, and I'm not, and I'm not trying to say it like this, but this is how it is sometimes. And just based off what I've seen and noticed, because I lived in Atlanta before. And I will never forget, I was working at Fridays. I probably worked there for like a few days. And I remember there was this girl, I'm not going to say her name, because what if she's watching me? But her brother was there. And we were all sitting down and we were eating lunch. And this is like when it start coming out. Like when people start coming out and like saying stuff or whatever. So I will never forget this day. We were sitting there. And so her brother came to the table. And he was like, man, I should have got some ass before I left. So, I'm, we up there just laughing, and I'm like, um, did you drop your girl off at the airport? I'm like, shit, y'all should have had a quickie in the car, did something. You know, I was like, was y'all running late? I'm like, dang, I was like, I was like, there's no way that, because he was saying like his girlfriend was going to be gone, or his fiance, sorry, he was going to be gone for like two weeks um, doing work. And so, I thought that's what he was talking about. So, he had on like a jersey, Timberlands some jeans, he had a fitted on, he was like very nice looking, and I'm up there telling Jade, I was like, I mean, dang, I didn't mean to say her name, ugh, I hope she's not watching, because it just slipped out, I'm sorry, hopefully y'all didn't hear, so she's up there like, she's talking, I'm talking to her, damn, I might have to go back and edit, I hope y'all didn't hear, so I'm just gonna say X, so I, I turned around, I was like, dang X, I was like, your brother is cute, you know? And then she was like, oh, she was like, really? She was like, girl, my brother's a trip. So we're sitting there, we're just eating the food or whatever, talking. And I, I don't know what, why it came back up. So he was like, he texted somebody and then he stepped outside. And so he came back in and I was like, oh. And I was like, your girl must want wanted some too. And he was like, oh. He was like, that's my bottom. And I was like, what? And he was like, that's my bottom. And that's all he said. And so, X told me, like, she just, like, when he got up, she whispered to me. She was like, my brother is on the low. Like, he's on the down low. And I looked at her, and I just, like, I started screaming in my head. I was like, no fucking way. And she was like, girl, she's like, this is Atlanta. But I was like, still, I was just shocked because, like, he came off as so masculine. Like, and he was very attractive. Like, he didn't come off as, like, like street hood ghetto type, but he came off as, like, somebody that i would not expect like it was somebody that i would least expect so when she told me i was like girl no way and i was just still shocked and i was like girl no way and i was like are you serious she was like yeah she was like i was like does everybody know she was like no but her and her brother were twins so like she, like of course she knew she was like i know she was like i don't know if anybody else knows she was like but that's my brother i love him so whatever it is it is but she was like yeah he told me time to time that's what he do and i was just like well you know that is what it is so that's when i learned about the top and bottom that's when i first got like like was exposed to, like what all that meant and like you know stuff like that so that's why i said somebody's not being their self they're, they come off as like very hard savage or they come off as if like they have that phobia like oh i don't like gay people i don't like this i don't like that but they are dealing with the same sex at the same time i'm telling you for some of you guys that is the situation sorry i didn't mean to make it long capricorn but i was just wanted to share that story with you guys because that's when i first well, i was like what and then i just know people or like my brother that like my brother works in like film and production and he'll tell me like you know he's working with like celebrities or certain people or you know like you know doing film and production and stuff like that or you know he'll be around people and he'll be like they'll try to like come on to him and he's like no i'm like i'm not like that you know but he was like he'll, you'll be just shocked like you'll just be surprised by who does like who is like that i don't know it was like very shocking for me to this day it's still shocking because if you if y'all were sitting at the table with me y'all would understand why i was so shocked because he just didn't look like the type that I would see, like, being like that at all. You know, like, not one bit. And he had, like, a super deep voice and everything. Like, I was just like, no way. Like, that can't be. I thought she was lying to me. But I was like, 
You know what I'm saying? He never said it out of his mouth, but I was like, why would she lie to me? And he just kept saying, like, oh, that, like, he had hit her shoulder and was like, oh, that's my bottom. I'll be right back. And they started laughing. Like, you know how people have their inside jokes? And I just, I would never forget to this day. And I was just like, oh, wow. And then she told me what the bottom was. So I was like, I was like, oh, okay. All right. So she was like, and then she tried to cover. So she was like, well, I don't really look at my brother as being bi because, like, you know, he has a, like, He's the top, and he has the bottom. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. But let me go back and see y'all reading Capricorn. So let me see. Love messages for Capricorn. We have secretive. So, yeah, somebody's being very secretive and keeping a secret. And then we have searching. You need to step outside of your comfort zone to get more notice. Somebody is searching for something outside of your relationship or maybe you need to start searching for something else outside of this relationship. Okay? Um, and get out your comfort zone and not be so used to this relationship and so comfortable with this person in this relationship. And we have manipulation. This keeps coming out in all the readings. So this person could be selling you dreams, hopes, and wishes, trying to control you. And we have the self-love card. Okay? Your love for self will attract the love you desire. So I feel like for some of you guys are, that are going through this, even if your person is not in the same sex relationship or dealing with somebody online, same sex, you guys are needed to focus on your self love at this time. Okay. That will help you guys attract the love that you guys desire. All right. So let's hop into your, um, your spirit message. Let's look into your spirit message. Capricorn. We have taken back your power, number 35. Yes, some of you guys can be 35. Let me see. All right, so we have taken back your power. So it says, part of keeping yourself small can, no, wait, let me break it down. Okay, on this card, the lily roots are buried deep in the mud, which symbolize which symbolizes your earth life. The beautiful flowers emerge from the water and reach towards the sky, embodying your yearning to connect with your higher self. In this image, the woman's soul is being oh tethered because she is not expressing her needs. All right, so it says speaking up means being true to yourself and taking back your power. Maybe you are scared of making a mistake, of making some change, or finding yourself alone. The taking back your power card appears when you need to say something you've been wishing to verbalize for a long time. Remember who you truly are, for your soul knows that if you speak your truth, you will not only survive, but will thrive. Express how you feel, even if you are scared. Are you running the risk of losing your spirit? This card may also indicate a situation in which you have stayed silent for too long. Walking on eggshells for fear of upsetting another person. It is time to take back your power and say something. Mm. Use the symbol of the water lily as encouragement to speak your truth and acknowledge how you really feel. When you speak up, you honor your soul. If you don't speak up, you stay underwater and cannot shine through true light. All right. So, Capricorn, some of you guys are really needing to speak your truth. You guys are needing to be open and speak your truth and say something, okay? Um, and, and get it off your mind, okay? You've been silent for way too long. Don't let somebody make you feel as if you're walking on eggshells. That's like one of the most uncomfortable feelings ever, all right? I love you, Capricorn. This is your reading. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a reading with me, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can book on my online shop. My tears have healed my heart.com. All right. I love you, Capricorn. I'll see you guys in the next reading or um, on the channel on a collective or daily reading. Bye, Capricorn.